This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 90 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com Our email godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. She has suffered with a pain in the heart. She says she felt like someone was pulling it out. Today, the Lord has healed her. It's gone completely, she says. My daughter, come here, child. Come here, child. Just take your hands off. All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. Don't cry, my daughter. These tears will never come again. These tears. All the pain is gone, child. You can move your body and show me. All the pain is gone. Look at these tears of joy. Lift your hand to Jesus. So when she came this morning, she fell down from the taxi and her leg was swollen. The Lord healed her completely. It's gone. The pain is gone. The swelling has gone. My daughter, my daughter. Oh, my child, look at me. I'm a good man. You can look at me. Where is the pain? Where is the pain? It was swollen like this. Now it's gone. And the swelling also has gone. You can move like this. Now you can walk well with me. My God, my God. Oh, who healed this dear guy? After for long, 26 long years, he had this knee pain, oh, left yes. pain. Last Sunday, it's through gone. the word of knowledge, he's been completely healed. All the pain is gone. 26 years you had it, son. My God, my child, just move your legs up and down, son. All the pain is gone, completely gone. Who healed this dear one? Who healed this dear one? It's all Jesus. It's all Jesus. This is a Thanksgiving. Yes. The child had severe wheezing on Sunday. They could not come to church. They were watching you over the internet. The word of knowledge came through you that the child will sleep peacefully and the wheezing will be gone. That night she was healed completely. Completely healed, child. You watched me live. Uh, and completely gone. No ice cream. Nothing, huh? Jesus has healed you. Jesus loved you, my daughter. Your daughter is healed. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, she had eye pains and watering of the eye for three days. The Lord has sealed her completely this morning. All the watering and the pains have gone. The watering has stopped. Little children give glory to Jesus. The pains have gone. The watering in the eyes have stopped. Lift your hand to Jesus, my child. He loves you. You will be a testimony for Jesus. Pastor, for four days, she suffered with the pain in the heart. Today, the Lord healed her. It's gone completely. All the pain is gone, child. You can lift your hand and you can move your body or whatever. All the pain is gone. You can take a deep breath. 
All the pain is gone, child. Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear girl from the heart side? It's all Jesus. Pastor, this is Mary. She has an amazing testimony. For the past three days, she had severe swelling and pain and bleeding in her gums. She couldn't talk. She couldn't eat properly. She came by faith today to sing in the choir. She said all the bleeding has stopped, all the pain has gone, and she's rejoicing in Jesus' name. The pain has gone, child. The bleeding has stopped. And the swelling has gone also. The swelling has... Let your hand down. The swelling has gone, my daughter. Swelling, bleeding and the pain as she said. Who did it all? Lift your hands, my child. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift both your hands, my daughter. And say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, since this morning she had a pain in the right uh, knee. Could not bend it. She had tr trouble bending the knee. Suddenly in the service she bent it and the pain is gone. Jesus Completely gone, child. You can bend it like this. Once is not enough. That's kneeling. That's quite easy, huh? It's, it's all gone, child. Completely gone. Look at the joy in the face of this dear girl. Look at the joy in this. Oh, lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for five days, she's been having severe pain in her gums. The word of knowledge was called out for healing in her gums. She said, thank you, Jesus, you're healing me. And all the pain is all gone. All the pain in your gums have gone. Completely gone, my child. Give your best smile to these people. They don't know how to smile. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for one whole month, she's been having a severe headache. Today, Jesus healed her. The headache is gone. For one month, you had this continuous headache. Now it's gone, child. Completely gone. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for two weeks, she's been having abdominal cramps and pain. All the pain has left her. She's completely healed. Completely gone, child. You can move your bend down. Or all the pains are gone. Completely gone, child. Who healed this dear girl? Everyone say Jesus. Pastor, this is Sheila. She's had a severe back pain for the past one week. And she said, by the word of knowledge, as you called out the sickness, all that pain has completely gone. All the pain is gone, child. No more pain at all, my child can bend down and show me can go like this and show me all the pain is gone child completely who healed this dear daughter who healed this dear child who healed this dear girl everyone say Jesus he loves you my daughter he loves you someone's pain here on your ears on your ears on this side on your ears just now has gone my loving children don't feel shy just come pastor this is Beatrice just now, Pastor, by the word of knowledge, you said pain on this side of the cheek. And that is Beatrice, Pastor. And all that pain is completely, completely gone. Completely gone, child. Gone. Can, you can move your neck and all. Completely gone. Just now when I told. It just went. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, she has two miracles today. For three months, Pastor, she had a severe pain in her left hand, Pastor. The pain is gone. She couldn't lift her hand and now she can lift it. And secondly, Pastor, for two years, she's been limping. Today, that limp is gone, the pain is gone, and she can oh, walk. That's marvelous, that. Oh, you can move your hand, child. My Lord, you can move your leg. My daughter, all the limp is gone. Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear daughter? Everyone say, Jesus. Jesus, live, my daughter. Live always. Pastor, for the last four days, she's had a painful throat infection. And was with difficulty able to swallow his saliva. Now when he came, it's completely gone. gone. You can swallow, my son. You can you can swallow and show me. Just swallow something. It's it's going in. It's no problem at all. I'm going to give you my tea. Now you drink it. Now you drink it. How is it? Tea is okay or this is okay? Uh, coffee is okay or this is okay? It, how is it going through beautifully? Take another sip. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, for the last six months, he's had pain and stiffness on his right knees. This morning when he came, he could not bend it backwards like this. The Lord has healed him completely. You can run and walk and show me. My God, all the pain is gone, son. Completely gone. Lift your hands, my dear. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Everyone say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, he had a severe back pain. He couldn't get up uh -huh. from there. He's seated. He needed support. As the word of the Lord came, the power of God came upon him. Now he's healed. He can bend, Pastor, without any pain. My son, just bend down, son. With severe pain. All the pains is gone. Look at him. Do it more. You look so nice when you bend down. 
bless you, my darling. Bless you. Who healed this dear son? up and walk in when Jesus' name. Will he will wipe all your tears. He loves you. He loves you. I am lifted up. He will bless you and heal you. Jesus, Son of God. He will heal you and save you. He is here today. He is here today. He will forgive every sin of ours, never to remember again. When Jesus comes in, when his word is all that you need, when his word is all that you love, I tell you, beloved, there can be nothing else of the defeated devil to creep into your life. His word has all the power to shut all the doors. Holy Spirit himself will do it, my loving child. Holy Spirit himself. My, if you say, God, every morning as you become consciously awake, as you put your feet off your bed, your cot, or wherever you sleep, my loving darling children, as you become consciously awake, I have told you this, my beloved. You say, Holy Spirit, take me on and lead me this day, every moment, Holy Holy Spirit, lead me. Oh, fill me. When he fills you, there is no room for any sin to dominate in my life. When he fills you, there is no room for fear to come into your life. When he fills you, there is no room for doubt to come into your life. When he fills you, there is no room for diseases and sicknesses to do now remain in your life. When he fills you, when he fills you, there is nothing, no room for any work of the defeated devil in your life, in your family, in your children, in your health, in your finance, in your future, in your ministry, everywhere. My loving children, all you need is the Holy Spirit. All you need is his word. All you need is his blood. Every moment, fill me, God. Fill me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. When you drive the vehicle, when you go to your shopping centers, when you go to your offices, when you're all alone somewhere, my darling child, there is only one person who will come after you. He is the Holy Spirit. There is only one person who will really draw to you when you are alone, rejected, cast away, despondent, desolate, despair in life. My loving child, when no one wants you, when no one wants to have anything to do with you, there is only one person who will come after you. There is only one person who will fill you. There is only one person who will comfort you. His name is the Holy Holy Spirit, my loving child, let him fill you. John 14, 26, John 15, 26, John 14, 16, John 14, 17. Let him fill you. He is everywhere here today, this morning. Let him fill you. When he fills you, there won't be room for fear. When he fills you, there won't be room for any sin. When he fills you, there won't be room for sickness or disease. When he fills you, there won't be room for doubt. When he fills you, there there won't be room for fear. When he fills you, there won't be room for sickness or death. When he fills you, it is all Jesus in you, beloved. That's what happened here. There was no room for anyone to get in. Oh, underline that word or oh, highlight that word. God, I want you to fill my life. I want you to fill my life. He is here today. And suddenly the roof opened, the Bible says. Four of them were bringing someone who was lame, who was paralyzed. My loving child, my beloved children of all. What this 
Holy Bible declares in all humility and in all nothingness we have seen it with our own eyes in our miracle healing rallies they are carried into the open grounds I know nothing but when they come on the stage the crutches are not there it is all outside sometimes the wheelchairs sometimes the crutches sometimes some sticks sometimes they are carried due to various other diseases they are on the stage walking jumping rejoicing some of it you have seen in our TV highlights oh it's increasing it is increasing my loving child do you hear the four people were carrying this man four friends they couldn't get in they tried the door no they tried the windows no they tried the walls no they tried the backyard door no they just couldn't get in but they believed as he comes to the word they could have waited outside listen carefully my darling children they could have waited outside let him finish his preaching and come when he lays hands he they will he will rise up they could have waited outside when he finishes the great anointed service he is having and when he comes outside when he puts his hand this man will get up no they thought better than that they believed greater than that they said when he is preaching the word this Jesus this great Lord when the anointing of the Holy Spirit is flowing into the people that is the time we will take him inside that is the time some or other when the word is preached some or other when the word is preached some or other when the word is preached we will get inside we will go inside we will put him in the word we will immerse him in the word we will submerge him in the word we will plunge him into the waters of the living word they could have waited outside we can't get in so when he comes outside let him lay hands my darling child greater than your prayer and my prayer is the word of the living God is the word of the living God greater than my prayer and your prayer is the word of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit that is why we urge you come into the church of some of you quickly get out and wait outside so that I will pray or the dear pastors will pray it is good it is right miracles will happen but greater is in the house of God when the Holy Spirit takes over and Jesus is exalted every healing and miracle takes place here in the house of God that's why they said we have to get in some or other the doors are closed the windows are closed the walls are strong and big what can we do they said we'll break the roof and get him there for the word if you can make your way into the word you will live in Jesus name my loving child, his word is life. His word is healing. His word is peace. His word is joy. John 15, 11, John 17, 13, Romans 14, 17. Oh, my loving child, his word is peace. His word is peace. His word is peace. Isaiah 9, 6, he is the prince of peace. John 14, 27, Isaiah 26, verse number 3. His word is peace. His word is peace. His word is peace. My loving child, when you listen to that word, that faith rises up. Romans 10, verse 17, the faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the living God and this faith first John 5 verse number 4 first John 5 verse number 4 gives you the victory all the time victory in your office victory in your home victory in your family victory over every works of the defeated devil victory over sin victory over temptation victory over anger victory over pride victory over all works of the flesh victory over disease and sickness and death all the victory that Christ won for you and me is ours in Jesus Christ my loving child, that faith is today imparted, infused, inspired today into your life now in Jesus' name. Streams of Miracle Life is Pastor Dale's latest book. Every module in this book is anointed with the power of God and His truth. There are also testimonies and praise reports that confirm God's living word. As you read this book, believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall have life and life in abundance.
He loves you. God wants you to have this faith. It is his faith, not my faith. It is his faith, not your faith. It is his faith that comes from his word to you that you will be victorious no matter what. My loving child, how many of you believe today? How many of you believe? That is why they wanted his word. Faith rises up whether they know or not. Whether they accept or not. Faith rises as you receive the word of God. That is why we quote the word of God. There is power in his word. There is life in his word. There is peace in his word. There is joy in his word. There is victory in his word. There is healing in his word. It is his word that settles it all for you and me. That's what the great Holy Spirit does. So they said we must get in there when he's preaching. We must get in there before his word. They broke the roof. My loving child, because of the time, the roof is anyone's shelter. The roof is anyone's protection. If you are under a roof in the natural, you are protected. Roof, if I have a roof over my head, some people say, that's what I strive and struggle and work for in my life. To provide a roof over my family. That's your protection. That's your provision. That's your position. You can sometimes people, I don't want to, how, how can I say, I don't want to use the word judge. We decide about others. Let me use a better word in English. We decide about others looking at their houses. When you see a shed or a kajan roof shed, a small hut, you know he's a man who is struggling in life. When you see someone in a big house, you can easily decide in your heart that person has enough for himself. The roof is your position in life. The roof is your protection in life. And the roof is your provision in life. If I have a roof over my head, if I have a roof under which I can lay my head and sleep every night, that's all I long for, God. That's your provision. That's your protection. That's your position. These fellows, they said, just tear it open. Why? My loving child, this is a bigger message, but the Holy Spirit is, is bringing me into that place now. Well, we are soon going to see what he will do now. My loving child, your provision must be Jesus all the time. He's my provider. No, not anyone else. Not money. Not people. Not friends. Not who I am. No, it is Christ my position. Christ my provision. Christ my protection. He's my shelter. He's my refuge. He's my protection. He's my provision. Christ is my provision. If I have Jesus full in my life, if I long for Jesus full, if I thirst for Jesus full, if I hunger for Jesus full, all other things will be added unto me. Matthew 6 verse 33. My loving child, my beloved, he is your provision, he is your protection, not your friends, not your money, not your influences, not your contacts, not your connections. Oh, my darling children, he is your protection and my protection. He is your position. It's not money, it's not education, it's not your charisma, it's not your personality, it's not your eloquence, it's not whatever you have, it's not your social circles. Your position is who you are in Christ Jesus. Are you proud of that? There's only one thing that makes me proud in the natural English language, that I belong to him. That he is all that I have. My joy, my joy, your joy must not be your job. Must not be the success of your business. Must not be what you are. No, but who he is in your life is your position today. Not what the world has made you. Who he is in my life. That's my position and your position. He's my savior. He's my healer. He's my redeemer. He's my salvation. He's my life. He's my long life until rapture. He's my eternity in heaven. He's my peace. He's my joy. Who he is in your life and my life is your position forever. My darling children. That's all the joy that you can have. 
is your protection, provision, and your position. They ripped it open. This world should not be your provision. Your friends should not be your protection. Your friends not, must not be your provision. Your friends must not be your position. Don't rely on your social circles. They will all fail and destroy you. But when he is your position, you will be a king on this earth in Jesus' name. Because he is the king of kings. Revelations 1, 6 says, you are kings, my loving child. He is the king of kings. Revelations 19, 16 says, they said, today, let everything go. Lord, today, I leave my friends aside. I leave my own self aside. I leave my own abilities aside. I leave my finances aside. I leave all that I think who I am. All I leave aside. I rip it open. I tear it apart, my God. You are my provision. Lift your hands to him. You are my protection. Lift your hands to him. You are my position, Lord Jesus. Nothing else. That's what the Holy Spirit tells me and you today. Jesus loves you. And my books are there. Jesus Christ heals even now. Jesus Christ heals even now my book, my latest book on rapture. My beloved people, everyone washed by the blood of Jesus, everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon. We are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years. We are going to go into our Father's mansions. He is going to come in midair to take us, rapture us, my latest book on rapture, don't miss that. And my powerful book, Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. And then streams of miracle life, streams of miracle life. Get these books. My magazines, every three months we put out magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Every three months we send them internationally and it's full of credible documented evidences of God's instant miracle healing works. Testimonies, praise reports in our magazines. You can send your request, we'll get it across to you. Signs, wonders and miracles magazines. All our miracles, it's increasing. John 14, 12, greater works, greater works now until rapture. It's increasing, it's increasing. We will send you our magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Send us your prayer requests, send us your requests. We will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle. We love you and more than us, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well. Jesus loves you. See you again and Jesus loves you.